I wanted to tell you, oh, hey, it's Mark from Mark and Michelle. Hi. Um, <laughs> wanted to tell you a little story that I heard over the weekend, maybe. I was listening to some, uh, listen to me, some good Joel Osteen old uh, tapes. I never really listened to him much until recently, and I find him rather enlightening. Rather spiritual, rather, rather good. Anyway, um, he was talking about a navy, navy flyer, navy pilot. Um, I'm going to find the link to this uh, specific sermon that he did, or talk, or whatever you want to call it, and I'll put it in the blog. But uh, he was talking about this navy pilot who you know was just all-American hero, one of the best pilots ever. He flew so many missions, won so many ribbons and, and medals, and, you know, he, he was well-known. He was very, very, very well-known. Well, you know, he flew off of the uh, a carrier you know, into Vietnam and did so many missions. I don't have details, but anyway, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is that he got shot down over Vietnam, and he got captured by the enemy. And he was held for six years, I believe, in a Vietnam prison. And uh, yeah, eventually he was he was released. And you know, if you ever heard stories, of course, I've never been through that. But you know, those that have, you know, they come out with a little different mindset than what they you know, went in with. And he came out, and he was just so so glad to be alive, so appreciative, and. You know, he tried to uh, make amends to all the people he had hurt, and he had tried to thank all the people that had helped him, and you know, it was all the big, big wigs that he knew that he, you know, hung around with in the high society circles. And anyway, as he got older, he went to a diner. He stopped at a diner. He was on a trip with his wife, I guess, and they were driving, and he stopped at a little roadside diner, and he was eating. And this, this man came up to him, and he said, "Aren't you Colonel So and So?" And the man looked at him and goes, yeah, yeah, I, I am. Do I know you? He goes, yeah, I served with you on, you know, the SS. So listen to Joel Osteen's story. He tells it much better. But anyway, I'll get to my point quickly. I, I served with you on the, uh, the the aircraft carrier. And, you know, this colonel looked at him and goes, I, I'm sorry. I, I just don't remember you. And uh, the man said, no, that's because, you know, I, I was just a lowly, you know, private or whatever, he said, but, you know, I, I was the one that always folded and packed your parachute. And the colonel got up, and he saluted the man, and he hugged the man, and he said, thank you so much. You are the one person that really, truly saved my life. Because when he got shot down and he parachuted out, you know, if the parachute didn't work, if it wasn't packed properly... You know, he would have fell, fallen to his uh, his death. You know, and it just made me think of you know all the the little things in life, all the little, all the people that help you without you even realizing that you're they're helping you. You, know, you think about all the people when you're driving, and you know they're driving too, and they're paying attention to the road and they're doing a good job, and everybody takes that for granted. But because they're doing that, you don't get into an accident. Or when you, you know, you're driving your car, you don't think about the person who spends, who spends eight to ten hours a day on the assembly line building the cars so that they, they work properly. Or, you know, you don't think about the farmer who, uh, you know, is, is out there at 5 a.m., you know, harvesting the, the corn or the grain that, you know, eventually will find its way onto your dinner table. You know, we just take that stuff for granted. You know, it, it's so many people pack our parachutes that we don't even know it you know it's a you know so you know when somebody does something to help you does something for you you know appreciate it thank them you know just say a thank you that's all it really takes um so like i said i will find that link you know he, he tells the story a lot better than i did he yeah he's been doing it a lot longer He's probably not sitting in a car when he's doing it. 
Not that there's anything wrong sitting in the car. We already talked about that. So, anyway, this went a little long, but uh, make it a great day. And just remember all the people that pack your parachute for you every day and thank them. Yeah, be grateful for them. You might not even know who they are, but take the time to, to find out. I'm going to. Talk to you later.